Go sit down again. Make, Make sure we're in frame. You look at mine and yours. Mine looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, yours looks good. Wait, wait, wait. Stay. Yes, yeah, go in my chair. Oh, perfect. Money. Is that good? Yeah. Good. All right. Let's go. Oh, my phone's not plugged in. <laughs> it's gonna like mess it up. Yeah, it will. Let's probably mess yours up too. <laughs> no, it's pretty good. Made it better. That's pretty dank. All right, perfect. Nice. It's pretty damn good. All right. Okay, so three, two, one, and we're going. We're doing it. Hello, YouTube family. Hey. Happy first day of spring. Is it the first day of spring or the second day? No, the first day of spring was a while ago. That uh, was the I think 15th. it was just yesterday. Is the 15th? No, it was the 18th. The Ides of March? Wait, 19th. Oh, no. 19th. You're right. You're right. The Ides of March. March I don't is know. The 15th. Happy spring. Welcome Happy back to our YouTube channel. This is our second video. During the coronavirus, we're doing the coronavirus epidemic as well. We're doing it? Like fucking it? <laughs> we're involved with it. Yeah, I'd say so. I have, uh, well, Anthony, I guess, has brought us a special treat today. We're gonna show you guys how not to smoke a couple of cigarette cigars, stogies. <laughs> Gentlemen's. So our last YouTube video, the audio quality and video was pretty bad. We we're using a Mevo streaming camera. Don't get one of those, they suck. Today we're using our cell phones. We're using a, what do you got? Mike? I have an iPhone 7 Plus. Oh, a piece of shit. I have older generation piece of shit phone. And I got my LG V30. A little bit better piece of shit. Still pretty bad. So today we're going to be lighting up some Alec Bradley Black Market Cigars. These are St. Patrick, St. Patrick's Day edition. Let's get a close up there. Can you see that? Hope so. Yeah, they have like the... Two different types of wrappers on the outside. I think it's like a. Actually, I don't know what kind of wrappers those are. But... Uh, yeah, they're hand wrapped. They look, they look, they look nice. Yeah. So let's cut these bad boys. Man, where'd the sunshine go? It was nice and sunny here in Central Washington, but now it's kind of overcast. Talk about your uh, cutter there. That's a cool cutter. Oh yeah, this is a cheap. A cheap V cutter, but it's new, so it's sharp and it makes a pretty nice cut. We got some makers to help go with the experience. Well, he's gonna drink the makers on the yeah. rocks. Some bourbon. I'm gonna drink some Glen Morangi Scotch, the Duthic. It's pretty good. Single malt. You can only find this one at international airports. It's pretty good, pretty tasty. They're both his um, bottles, though. So this is how not to toast a cigar. So you, preferably you'll have a butane jet torch. This has three torches. Toast it up pretty quick. So you just toast it like so. Don't get the flame too close or else it will scorch. Get the cigar end a little bit too black and you can taste that sometimes. So just want to give it a nice toast. Then you want to put the stogie in your mouth. Like so, then you kind of like light it, suck in at the same time, and kind of like turn the cigar as you go. Good, you're doing a good job. Almost there. <coughs> Man, that's a that's a good one. Is it good? <coughs> Do you taste it? Yeah, I definitely tasted that one. So like he said, you gotta kinda gauge it. Don't wanna do that. Man, I didn't like that very good. Tastes pretty good so far. But it'll get better. 
Scars always get tastier as you get past the halfway mark. I, I see. So we're in central Washington. It's about 64 degrees. It's pretty nice. Pretty dry out. But yeah, a nice day to have a smoke. Cheers. Cheers, man. Thanks. See the light. Stogie cheers. They say a good inhale is about four or five seconds in. And you want to exhale slowly, get the flavor. You don't hold you don't hold it in your lungs, you just kinda of taste it with your so mouth. So yeah, you don't Is inhale it? it into your lungs, you just inhale it into your mouth and get the taste. Kinda of hold the smoke for a little bit. So you could actually taste the stogie. So if you ever had the Alec Bradley Black Market Black Market cigars, they taste similar to this one. This one has some different notes, as it has like the two different types of wrappers. Why? I'm guessing it's like a Connecticut wrapper, the lighter one, and the darker one, maybe a Maduro or something like that. I don't really know. That's I interesting. Probably should have Googled it. Yeah, we have a kind of multi wrap going on. I'm gonna pour me some, some scotch. Probably just a two finger pour. That's a. Uh, Maybe one finger pour. It's like two ounces right there. I did a four finger pour. Oh, with the ice cube. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty cool ice cube, but it's like square. Bigger cube. Yeah. So that coronavirus, man. What do you think? I hope it goes over. Go I'm like goes away. Goes away. Get out of here. Too, like I'm done. It sucks, man. There's like no to toilet bars. paper in stores. We can't go to bars. It's one of the reasons we started doing this was the coronavirus. Like we can't go to bars. We can't go to casinos. We can't go to grocery store. Well, we go to grocery stores. Yeah, we're not the brightest of folks, but we thought if we could film what we're doing, like let people know that we're out there trying to be cool. Maybe, maybe it could work someday. And the scotch, it pairs pretty nicely with the cigar. A little bit sweet, a little bit smoky, some brown sugar, maybe some molasses, a little bit of a nutty taste. Yeah, I like that. Hey, Samson. Maybe in the comments, put some of your favorite cigars or your whiskey of choice. That'd be fun to hear. Makers is pretty good. Yeah, Makers is always solid and good choice for a bourbon. Complements the cigar a bit. A lot of flavor, pretty high BV. Nice Believe looking that. bottle with the wax and stuff. Yeah. So yeah, what's going on in your neck of the woods? YouTube, tell us where you're from. YouTube, let us know where you're at, where you're watching. Do you like cigars or not? Give us feedback for a video, what you guys would like to hear. You've see. got a good uh, cherry popped going on there. How is that supposed to be? The, the ash? The cherry? It's supposed to no, be. No, you want to keep a good cherry. Yeah, you want to keep a good cherry. Don't pop it. Yeah. yeah. Just want to. You know, have to get the keep a cigar going. You want like a flint. You want like, like a ball, like a little fireball going on. Something like they that. They call it the cherry. Yeah. So on Mike's cigar, and mine as well, you can see that it's kind of like burning unevenly right there. Pretty. So when that happens. Pretty much the wrong way to do just it. Just take some spit, put it on your finger, and then rub it on that spot there that's like burning too fast and it cools it down. Or adversely, you can blow. On the opposite side. The opposite side. To catch it Make up. it catch up, yeah. Give the cherry some oxygen, as they say. Don't blow too hard. And don't use tea. Protect your wrap. Don't like 
get it messed up or bite at it. Like the sticker? Sticker? No, the actual wrap. Like, oh, the don't wrap let it get all messy because was... if you mess up your wrap, then it's gonna like have a hole in it. it won't channel the smoke the same way. So in a cigar, there's three different types of tobacco leaves used. There's the wrapper, which is the outside leaf that you see. That's where all the flavor comes That's from. That's true. That's usually the most aged tobacco leaf in a cigar. Mm -hmm. And the most expensivest. And inside of that is the binder. So the binder is usually like a mid-level tobacco leaf. Binder, I hardly know her. <laughs> and it keeps all the, all the filler tobacco inside oh, yeah. the cigar. That's and that's true. the meat and potatoes of the cigar, the filler. Sometimes it's long leaf and filler. A... I hardly know her. <laughs> filler is usually like long leaf tobacco in a nicer cigar. In a cheaper machine made cigar, it might be like bits and pieces of leftover tobacco leaves. So these are pretty decent cigars. Like they're like nine bucks a piece, that little brown smoke shack. So yeah, decent cigar. Little brown smoke shack is a fine establishment, local establishment. They probably figured out where we would can live at now because yeah. of that. Like if you Google little well, the brown general area smoke shack, I the, bet, how many of those do you think there are in the U.S. Little brown smoke just shacks? Just one. This is the one we have. They have a national presence. They're on the web. That's King Mountain. They've won a lot of awards. No, little brown. Oh, little brown. Too. Yeah. They have events sometimes. All with Bradley or Partagas or Cohiba representatives will go to Little Brown Smoke Shack. Barack Obama for promotions and stuff. I like that smoke shop. It's yeah. on the Indian reservation, so there's no taxes. Right, yeah. So you get a little bit better price. It's like duty free, except different, better. Local. More old school. Natives. The native people, yeah, they're great. They just really got a uh, bad situation going on. People take advantage of them a lot, I guess. So, what are you tasting in the cigar? Picking up any notes? I'm pretty much just getting mine rolling. My cherry just started popping and going. Gotcha. Yeah, yours is barely going. Yeah. You've been going for a while now. Yeah, right off the bat, I'm tasting some notes of like white pepper, some like leather notes, maybe like a little bit of woodiness. I'm not really sure what wood. Maybe cedar. It's definitely not like a cigarette with all the gross stuff. This is like a uh, quality. Yeah. Quality intakes. It's like you're getting some fine woods. Still not the best for you. Still kind of gross, but I like it. I enjoy some. It's a strange once thing a to do. Yeah, you're inhaling some smoke into your lungs, and then... well, not in your lungs. Just your lungs. <laughs> some goes into well, your. Well, unless lungs. you're inhaling. <gasps> no, don't inhale into your lungs. But you are just putting like the flavor into your mouth. Is the ideal. Man, what a nice dude! I could hear like birds chirping. I don't know if you guys could hear them. I don't think the phones have that great of mics. So we're probably gonna have to find a better setup. We'll have to find out. Yeah. Do some research. Do you think, uh, should I check our, make sure our, our angles are still good? Yeah, go for it. not screwing up the rest of the time. Yeah. But if you guys, you know, fellow YouTubers have any recommendations for mics or cameras, let good. us know. Yours looks good too. That's great. Hopefully Wendy doesn't bump everything and yeah. s s slam the door like she normally does. Come here, Wendy. Oh, don't forget to use your coaster, man. Come here. careful man. So this is Wendy, my dog. <laughs> Just kidding, this is Coco. She's my Pomeranian. She's pretty dang cute. Coco, say hi to the camera. Coco. It's pretty much the cutest. Yeah, he's a little prince. It's a girl. She's a little prince. Yeah. I have another black Pomeranian around here somewhere. His name's Samson. Uh, he's busy. Samson! Come up here, buddy! Come here! Come here! You want down, Coco? I guess Coco wants down. I don't think she likes the cigar smoke, so say bye, Coco! Wave! Here's Samson! Oh, yeah, there's Samson! Samson and Coco, they're buddies. Yeah, they're married. They're like, yeah. Boyfriend and girlfriend. Dog love. But they can't make copies because they're both fixed. Yeah, it's a rough one for them. They're working it out together, though, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, they're good friends. They make it work. Just like 2020, you know. Well, Samson always gets hair on me, which is cool. 
Did any of you guys see our video yesterday, how not to shotgun a beer during the coronavirus? That's right, we did that one Hope too. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. We, we might put some subtitles on it so you could know what we're saying. Yeah, we're going to edit and change some things on that one for sure. Might add a few things to this one. You want down, Coco? I'm sorry, the cigar smoke's probably too strong for you. Poor Coco. Poor. Yeah, our last one was a fail too. This is kind of good. This is better than the last one. It was how not to... Uh, shotgun a beer. Yeah, we failed at that one. It's actually, I was looking at it the other day, it's actually exactly 3 minutes and 33 seconds, which I thought was interesting. 333, three, three. nice. In the, three, three, three. in the month of March. In the month of March. That was March 3rd. 3rd. But I thought that was cool for our first video. So that was we, a good thing to do. Yeah. That's like, pretty like, that's not like a normal video. Like we would, we know we're drinking alcohol. We're we're in the living room spilling it. Yeah, I don't know. It wasn't like just like your normal like Chilling, shitty, shitty video. It's like, not like we a got spur like of a, the moment thing. Yeah, it was we're like watching a, some YouTube videos. It was a good we're like, video. dude, we should make YouTube video just for the heck of it. And we did. And yeah, here we are. Now we're hooked. We should probably introduce ourselves to our YouTube oh, fam. I'm Mike, and I'm Tony. And we're here to party, man. Yeah, we're best buds, business partners. Business partners, philanthropists. Um, yeah. We grew up together a little bit, on and off. Went to the same junior high and high school. Yeah, uh, crazy times. Played a lot of shenanigans together. Definitely clowned around a, a lot. Yeah. Nothing too strange, but some pretty weird, wild stuff, I'd say. Yeah, I'd say so. Now we're just, um, I don't know, modern American men. Uh, he's married with a wife and stuff. And you're married with a husband. And I'm married with a nice nice husband. Nice strong man. Keeps me safe during the day. Um, yeah, and it's great. Wish he was here right now. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully this video is not too boring. It's probably, probably pretty boring. Yeah, how would... Like a couple of gay dudes sitting down the... Sucking down, down on, on some... Sucking down on some stoves. Pretty much. This is what people want, though. This is going to be our lives. Like, you're just going to find out. We're just going to be an hour a day. Hour a day, every day. Forever. As much as yeah. we can. Like, we want to post a lot. We want to get you a lot of content. Like, yeah. like definitely post and let us know what you want us to do next. Let us know. Get some weird, weird vibes going. We can, you know, send some private messages around. Yeah, what do you <laughs> Or not. So, yeah, let us know what you guys want to see. <laughs> let us know what you want to see. Show us, show us something, you know. Yeah, we're kind of jacks of all trades. We do a little bit of everything. Yeah, we can do anything, yeah. We like to party, for sure, is the main thing. That's not true. We'll, we're going to work on stuff. We're, we're going to do, like, something where we build something. We'll do yeah, one we'll where build we... Stuff, we'll grow some, like, We'll grow some potted plants. yourself videos. Some, like, cooking videos. We love to cook and barbecue and stuff. We'll barbecue and cook. We'll we'll uh, fix a computer. We'll build a computer. Yeah. Um, we got several things we can do. We'll do some weird stuff. We'll get involved with some techie stuff. Uh, how, not to, how not to? How yeah, not to? How to's. not to videos? We got it. We're gonna do it, but it might still get done. But it's probably not the best way. But it's like how I like reverse psychology. Yeah, it's like how so you figure it out if you do, haven't done it before. And oh, okay. And don't do that. We fucked up. Don't do it this way. We need to look up the rules about what you can say on YouTube. Like, I don't want to yeah, say the wrong that's languages. That's true. Pretty sure you can say fuck So I think up. I need to ash my cigar pretty soon. The butt's getting pretty long, and it looks like it's cracking. You can't so this is the anymore. foot of a cigar. That's the part that's pre-cut, the end you light. This is... Well, that's the foot. This must be the head of the cigar, so you, like, cut it. Mm -hmm. We made a nice little V-cut on these. I don't know if you could see that. <laughs> but I like the V-cut. Yeah, you do. I also like cold cold punch cuts, regular cuts. Nice. I don't care as long as I could get a nice draw of the cigar. All right. So we washed our hands before we smoked too. Oh yeah, so we want to get corona. coronavirus on our stogies. Decoronad. Pretty much. Decoronad. Oh nice, you're getting a nice little butt on your cigar. Look at that butt. It's burning pretty nicely. See that? Kind of a little bit uneven on that side there. You see that? Yeah, it's a pretty tasty, smooth smoking cigar. Yeah, they're good. I would have clipped my nails for the occasion, had I known. Oh man, I think a piece of ash got up my my whiskey. It won't hurt you. 
No, I won't. So I wish we had a nice ass tree. Not really. Because when you have a butt like this, you want to like roll it off. To keep your cherry. Because if you're like tapping on it too hard, you could damage the tobacco leaves, crack it, get a not so good draw afterwards, but we don't have an ash tree, so I'm just going to tap it towards the end gently. I don't know if you can see that. I don't want to ash it myself. Oh, there we go. Perfect. You don't get like a big crazy buzz from cigars, but you get you can tell you can feel like a little something from them. Well, you can if you're not used to nicotine. That's true. It's your it's first your time first smoking, one. you'll definitely feel it. You'll feel it. Definitely with a larger stick like this. Yeah, we'll feel it with this. I think this is like pretty medium as far as nicotine content goes. Some of the darker ones, like a Cohiba Black, man, those are strong. You're more of a uh, smoker man than me, a connoisseur of different cigars, I'd say. Yeah, I'd say so. Get I mean, it. I like to smoke, don't get me wrong, but you definitely have more of a collection and a ongoing interest. Yeah, I like Stogies. I just recently got a... It's like a fridge for cigars. That's called a Coolador. A fridge for cigars. So it keeps oh, them, yeah. Keeps them cool. Has some digital hygrometers so I could know the humidity. Keep Try to keep them at around like 69, 70%. What that set you back? How much was one of those? Run? The fridge? Yeah. So at Best Buy, they're like 300 There was deal of the day or something like that for like 170 Damn. And then I had some Best Buy credit. So yeah, I think I paid like 120 for my you fridge. You had some Best Buy credit. That's cute. So yeah. you buy a lot of tech? Yeah, I, I buy a lot of tech need to buy something to keep my cigars nice and smokable because I had some glass top humidors and they did not humidor keep, they did not keep the humidity humidor in. Norrington so a humidor it's a box you put your stogies in and it keeps them at the proper humidity so they don't dry out don't get too humid too moist mm. yeah but those glass top humidors man glass top humidor Norrington is yeah. what we call it my cigars were always dry, tasty, nasty, and harsh, so I splurged and bought a fridge to keep them tasty. That's great, yeah. I love seeing that. I love seeing uh, a collection being well taken care of. That's what, that's what you should aspire yeah. to do. Yeah. Hombre. So you're Hispanic. You're not Taliban. And maybe a little bit of both. Mostly Hispanic. A little bit of Hispanic. A little well, bit yeah. of Middle Eastern. Something like that. Well, I don't speak Spanish, so technically I'm not Hispanic. Yeah. Hispanic, so Spanish-speaking American. And I'm white. Not really gay, by the way. Just want to clarify. Not, not, not hetero. Well, What's you're it happy. Called? Happy, I'm happy. What's it called when you're scared of being gay? Heterophobe? Homophobe? Homophobe? homophobe. I'm not a homophobe, by any means. I hope. <laughs> but, um, definitely prefer ladies, I guess. Yeah. As far as, like, having sex with. Oh, yeah, we welcome all As far as having sex with... Oh, yeah, I still prefer uh, uh, having sex with women, yeah. yeah. Having sex with men's mess, messy business. <laughs> Wouldn't do it. I don't think we should talk about that. Can you talk about having sex on YouTube? I don't know. We'll have to make our channel 18+. plus. I'm not sure. We did make it 18+. plus. Oh, we did? I don't think so. Oh. Yeah, yeah that's awkward. That's strange, though. Let's more be... Uh, it's an interesting lighter. It's a, not just a normal bic. It's, it's a uh, it's a butane, butane torch. torture. It's a torture. It's a jet line. These are nice. This is a big one. It can hold a lot of fluid. Yeah. It's windproof, so if it's like windy, blustery, it's it can so light your stogie. It's good for on the boat. But it gets a little bit too hot. You have to be careful so you don't scorch your cigar too much. I want to get a nice soft flame lighter. Yeah, I got this lighter and a grab bag of lighters from Cigars International. It's got like five lighters for like thirty dollars. There's some up. like Moretti's. Those ones kind of suck. Do my parents know? <laughs> Your parents know you bought that no, lighter? I don't think so. All right. Yeah. Why would they know that I bought that that lighter? Uh, I was just wondering. It's no a question. It's a question no, pertaining true. to it. Seems like something you should tell your parents that you own. It's like a, gut, like a weapon. You're an adult now. You can do it on your own. Yeah, we've been adults for a while. We're both in our... Just need to start acting Late like 20s. Or... <laughs> late 20s, early 30s. What? What? We don't start in our 30s. How old are you? How old do you guys think I am? Guess. Yeah, guess. If you had to guess how old you thought Anthony Tony was, and then how old Michelangelo here 
would be, what would you say? And if anybody guesses my birthday right, the exact month, day, and year, what? I will personally pay them out in gold in Ethereum. Um, really? Let's say about... Mm, Five dollars? Uh, I could go about twenty-five. Twenty-five? U- USD. USD. Okay, so if you guess my birthday, day, month, year, he will PayPal you or Ethereum you twenty-five dollars. Or, or mail you gold. And if you guys guess Mike's birthday, aka Michelangelo, I will do something. What should I do? Um, buy me a bottle of uh, Makers. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do something. I don't know what I'm going to do. Do something dirty. Something dirty. Do something crazy. You will rob a liquor store blindfolded. No. I will chug half a bottle of booze out of a shoe. That's pretty gross. I don't want to chug a whole bottle. It's pretty nasty. I don't want to puke on camera. That's cool. I have to find a shoe that could hold some liquor. Liquor shoe. Boot shoe. No, that's a good time. No one's gonna guess uh, guess our ages, probably. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. Good luck with that. <laughs> so these stogies, man. Like, these are great. The these flavor are great. is developing. It's getting a little bit. How more... are you supposed to hold it? Technically. Technically, however, it's comfortable to you. Most people will hold it kind of like you hold like chopsticks. Right. No, not chopsticks. Maybe like a pencil. Like a pencil. Between your like pointer finger and middle finger and your thumb for dexterity. What about those people who smoke, like, all the time? Like, have stogies all the time. You ever see those people? It's like they always have, like, a cigar and stuff, like, in there. Oh, really? Pen I, pocket. I haven't seen that. Like, doctors and stuff. Doctors. Old, like, old, crazy doctors. We're out here in the West, so we have, like, strange folk still linger around. Man, I need a cigar rest. That'd be nice. Stogie rest. Man, I'm sad my Glenmorangi Duffick is almost out. I'm yeah, so he's sad. he's running down to the low side. Man, and I'm not planning on flying anytime soon. Hey, man. Take a ride on the right outside. We're going to cut down that tree. Maybe we'll do a video about how not to cut down a tree. Yeah, that could be dangerous. Yeah. That tree over there, that's we got to do something dangerous. We're going to have to really make a name for like ourselves. It's like 80 feet tall. That tree probably weighs like, what, two tons? Go at least? big or go home, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. How long do you think you're going to finish yours before me? Yeah, about the same time. I'll that's catch up. Yeah, we're about we're, we're about the same, yeah. We're even. Yours picked up. Evenly sized there. So this is what America's about, you know, after work, after hard day's work, you know. Yeah. Sun's going down, hanging out with a friend, drinking some drinking some fine beverage and smoking down some fine story. Hey guys, cool it. It's a man, Pomeranians, they're What's yappers. a Pomeranian? Oh, yeah, the dog, yeah. Yeah, it's a type hey, of dog. Coco. It was bred from the German Spitz, hey, hey. I believe. Coco. Coco. No, Coco. No. Snow dogs, no. German snow dogs, but I think Queen Elizabeth, bred she liked them and she bred things. them to be smaller. Now they're really small and stuff. I like the big ones, though. It's like a puffy chihuahua. They love the snow. Dog. Little, like, yeah, husky-ish. Too bad we're not going to have any snow anytime soon. That's like a tree of my Pomeranians running around in the snow doing what they do. That'd be a good video. How yeah. not to raise Pomeranians. <laughs> <laughs> He's good, Adam. He's a good dad for him. I also have a cat, a Russian blue that I rescued. That's Her true. name's Shanene. Watch me whip. Watch me Shanene. <laughs> She's a sweetheart, though. Yeah, she made us... Likes everybody. Like, seven or eight kittens. Where is Shanene? She's inside, sleeping. She sleeps uh, a lot. She's a lazy old, fat cat. Pretty old She's fat not cat. pretty old. She's, she's pretty, only, like, four or five. Just been through a lot. No. Uh, my cigar's pretty uneven, man. I'll have to get some more spit on there. Yeah, mine is, too. Spit, spittle, that, spittle that guy up. So, Mike, what do you like to do during the 
coronavirus epidemic. Uh, I bought Since. I bought Doom Eternal today. Doom Xbox Eternal. One. What? Just got that from Best Buy. I had the, bought the last copy they had actually. What is that a new one? It just came out today. Just came out today. Really? Yeah. What? Yeah. Doom Eternal came out today. Have you played it yet? No, it's in my car. It's still wrapped. Oh dang! Came over here. You should buy your video. Xbox, man. I should have. Yeah, it's on the other side of town. We live on the opposite side of town. Best friends, opposite side of town, crazy it story. It was like 40 minutes away. Up. Oh, no, more like 29 and a half It's good, away. though. It's made our friendship stronger. If we were right next door, we'd hate each other. Yeah. I mean, we already hate each other, but it's just like a different hate. It's a good hate now. <laughs> what video games are you guys playing? I'm a PlayStation guy. He's Xbox. I have a PlayStation 4 as well, though. Any of you guys watched the like PS5 announcement with all the like hardware specs? Yeah, they're coming out with some crazy... 12, uh, 12 teraflops? 12 teraflops. That's pretty insane. And I backwards keep, compatible. I keep thinking he means terabytes, but he's saying teraflops. I, I don't know what that is. I don't know if what you a, guys are like techie I don't know what a teraflop smarter is. Smarter than us, you guys may know. I know what a terabyte is, I don't know what a teraflop is. Terabytes, a thousand gigabytes, a teraflop. 12 flops of tera? I guess. Something like that. A flop? So what's a flop? I don't know. I'll show you a flop. <laughs> Carl Malone of the Utah Jazz used to flop a lot. What does that mean? Like in a basketball game. Oh, like, yeah. Yeah. Somebody's playing too hard, you fall and like flop on the flop. ground and cry a little. Ah! Hoping the rest. That's part of the game, though. To, like, we'll call a foul or something. Yeah. To make it... He is a good flop. I think soccer they do that worse where they're like oh I'm where they hurt. check each other and <laughs> well, they get like red cards when they uh but when they like they fake getting hurt when they like fall down so like, my ah. cigar is burning pretty unevenly so i'm gonna toast this edge a little bit help it catch up oh nice Should there we go samson so get at us youtube send us some dirty ass comments yeah some of those no, that's what you guys like to do. Whatever's on your hater YouTube comments, mind. but hate's such a strong word. I, I uh, think we should always promote encouraging love, love and positivity, positivity throughout. I agree. Yeah, we were talking about this like, strangely enough, me and Anthony have jobs in IT related fields, both of us, and. When you're in an IT-related field, you're watching, like, load screens most of the time. So it's like, things are loading, you have time to think about things, like, and you're pretty much, most of the time, like, shit, I need to do something different with my life. So I guess that's why we're starting to kind of get out there and try to do something different, spice up the life. One step forward, you know? Get Let's sold do it. in front of a computer screen, affecting people's printers all the time. Does your printer slow down? Does your printer jam often? Whenever you have a digital device problem, turn it off and turn it back on. <laughs> to restart. That's what I've learned. Half the time that works. If you reboot something, I kid you not, you're going to probably have it working again. At least for a while. At least to get the job done. 